Hi, Erin. Today is Wednesday, June 1st. Oh, it's June. Hold on. Much better. Erin, in your last video, you asked the question, who could say no to the pigeon? And I have to tell you, five-year-olds, five-year-olds say no to the pigeon all the time. I, I don't think that you have an excuse. I say yes to posting videos early if we don't think we'll be able to post on a day. I'm pretty sure there's a way to upload videos to YouTube with a set release time of later, but I don't know how to do that. So, posting early is fine. Challenges may be refused if a punishment is taken instead. However, I would point out that the nature of challenges ought to be kind of more fun and constructive, whereas the nature of punishments is, well, they're punishments, so they tend to be a little more embarrassing, gross, uncomfortable. Punishments in general should be less fun for the person doing them, and more fun for the people watching. Erin, you mentioned that you're having trouble thinking of things that you might want to teach in videos, and I would say that it does sound kind of daunting, um, but it could really be anything. Um, if you looked up something that morning and you thought it was interesting, you could talk about that. If you wanted to do a video about something on TV tropes, Erin, you could do that, and that would be educational. My day today, so far, has pretty much been two different things. Well, and then I made this vlog, so it's, it's three things. Three. Anyway, the first thing is that I started watching subtitled episodes of We Got Married Online. I'm sure you don't know what that is, so I'll tell you. We Got Married is a Korean TV show where celebrities are paired up as fake married couples and, like, have challenges and go on dates and things. And Aaron, it's amazing. It's it's so amazing. Um, I'm a little in love with it. The second thing is the conclusion to a story that began last week. So Aaron, last week on I think Tuesday, you got a bunch of texts from me complaining about how the washer dryer repairman wasn't here yet. He was originally supposed to come between eight and twelve, so I got up at seven thirty, got showered and dressed in case he came early. Kate got home around 9.30, and pretty much as soon as she walked in the door, she got an automated phone call saying that the guy would be here an hour late. Presumably, an hour late when you have a four-hour window already means the whole window bumps back, so then his window was 9 to 1. A little after 1, Kate called the company and said, Hey, any idea when that guy will be here? Because we're still waiting. And they said, Well, um, by Two, I guess. A little before two, we got a call from the guy who said he'd be here in 30 to 45 minutes. Around 2.30, he did finally get here. That's two and a half hours past his original four-hour window. He looked at the washer and dryer, um, did some minimal stuff to the dryer, but basically said, your washer's not broken, it's just loud, and... I can't fix your dryer, you have to have someone else do it. Then he paid him and he left. And it didn't accomplish much of anything except being pretty aggravating. So today, we had different people come to look at the dryer. They got here, they called Kate actually this morning and said, hey, we're already done with everyone else, is it okay if we come early? And that was fine because we were already up and everything. So they came, they fixed the dryer, and they left. They were here like less than 30 minutes. So the moral of the story is I guess now we can hopefully dry our clothes. So yay. Erin, I will see you on Monday.